there folks. It's been a long time since you've seen me. And for what it was worth. Man, I've been so busy. Been extremely busy because of the house and getting my own personal life together. I'll, I'll say it like that. And there were a lot of things, a lot of things that, that have been going on. Most of them being personal, but for what it was worth, I'm glad it's getting, it is getting done. And as you can tell, and as you can tell, my room is still in a work in progress. Now, um, I have a few selections that I'm going to share with you, and pretty much, um, I have them right here. Um, if I can basically go through them. At least what I'm going to present to the masses, anyway. Um, let me see. What have I got done already, and what am I going to be working on in the future? Well, let's see. As far as what's going on with what is going on. Now, recently, you remember I finished off Kingdom Hearts, and I also have the PS2 version of Chain of Memories. Well, a few days passed, and I did get a few selections for the old PS4. For one, I have Kingdom Hearts 1.5 to 2.5 to go with 2.8. So therefore, what we have on it is the Final Mix versions of Kingdom Hearts 2 and Birth by Sleep, 1.5 which is Read Chain of Memories, Kingdom Hearts 355 over 2 days, and Recoded, all in HD, all on PS4, and pretty much soon to be done on my channel. Another game that I've that I've been personally playing, some parts missing, but other parts still there, is um well Ages of Mayhem. Ages of Mayhem, as you can tell, is basically open world. And um I actually got one of the um free DLCs, namely Franchise Force. In in next year parts we'll, you'll see Franchise Force in action. But as you are as you can already tell on the channel, I've already started it, so I might as well just show it off. Most likely it's gonna be a weekend thing. Next one is going to be definitely a project tank. It is definitely gonna be on Project Tank High. Shenmue 1 and 2. Now, please, the best, blah, 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 blah. anyway, um, <laughs> basically, this is the game that presented open world. Because mainly, it wasn't Grand Theft Auto that brought open world to life. It was this game. Since it started on Dreamcast, this basically was the formula behind all open world. Now it plays a bit like um, the combat styles like um, Virtual Fighter, but um, since it's a HD remake of the original two games, and the and then the third one is going to be coming out on August at the same time as this one came out. I'll also be doing the Yakuza. Um, extreme games as well as zero. I don't know when, but I'm pretty sure it'll be pretty soon. Um, this is definitely gonna be on 
the Tenkai project, yes. That, that, this is definitely going to be a Tenkai project of the most highest caliber possible. I've not played this game yet, but oh, I, I'm feeling it. I'm really feeling good about this game. Is it sad to say that I, I've already finished about some of the games that I've already done? And yet, you know, um, this one is already set for October. And yet I got a couple of games on, on, on my, um, on my backlog that I'm still doing. Well, one of them happens to be this. One of the games I plan to show off on, and show off in October, is Onechambara Zeto, or Z, or Z2. I like to call it Zeto. Onechambara Zeto Kios, or Z2. Now, basically, this is the last of the Onechambara games because there were. Because even though the game actually started on PSP, I believe, it's been on PSP, Wii, um, 360, and PS4. But this is the last game of the series, so it's the only one that um, I know I can make footage off of. And let me tell you, <clears throat> yeah, the, <clears throat> the blood and guts on this thing. It, it, it even had more blood and guts than the Punisher. And that one, you know, that one is just kill them all and, and kill them all now, interrogate them later. But yeah, this one is already done. I'm just waiting for um, um, October to get here to start posting. And speaking of next month, which is going to happen over this weekend, uh, Yeah, I actually ha I am actually still playing this. This is the PS4 version of Shadow Warrior. Uh, by the way, um, about Angels of Mayhem, Forty actually got me this game on um, on Steam. But I feel to properly do it justice, do it on PS4. Regardless of what anybody else says, that game is stupidly fun, and I'm enjoying the hell out of it. <laughs> so yeah, about Shadow Warrior, yeah, I did this on Steam, and I swear to God, I didn't like it because it just felt so. Uh, it felt so slow, even on recording, it just felt slow. So you know what I did? I said, you know what? Let, let me just go ahead and go ahead and get this for myself, and just redo it. And, I think I'm about nearly through, I'm nearly at the end of the game. I stopped at one part because there, there were just too many enemies just to deal with and like, you know what, no. No, if I'm going to be doing this, I'm going to have to take a breather and just step back from it for a while. So, yeah. This is pretty much it. Um, let me see, I got a few more games that I have finished already. Um, that's not it. Oh, here we go. Okay. Now another game you're gonna be seeing. Not that. It's not that. But one of the two games that you'll be seeing on channel, but you won't probably be seeing it on channel because for some reason I could not record this for any reason. And this is the one game that I have that I could never actually record because you just couldn't, you really could not record all of this. I have been playing this and let me tell you, it plays just like the classic um, arcade Gundam games that came out during the, the um, GameCube era. And for what is worth, um, most of them? Most of what you remember are in this game. From Arc 78 to the ones in Gundam.
Gundam builders and um, it, it, it basically is another one of those um, anniversary games because Gundam like in its 30s I think now it, it's it's almost damn near 40 okay let's just say that it, it's almost four years old so this franchise I doubt I'm actually gonna make um, I, I, I doubt I can actually make a video off this, but I can try something. I'll probably do a review on it using a different Gundam game. Possibly one of the arcade games and just take it from there. So, expect a review of it soon. My apologies if I haven't made a review of anything since because of house business and whatnot. So it's just been you know, crazy. And do I have the... No, I don't. It's not in there. Okay, um, this one I just finished. I finished this, um, uh, in the course of, um, this month, or late year, rather. I finished, um, Samurai Warriors 4. So, um, expect to see that, like, say, on uh, Saturday. And what I'll do is, like, I will, I will upload them, like, at least, um, like maybe four at a time but at different intervals in one day because some of them are some of them are different than what you see in Samurai Warriors 2 basically it's more like four missions five missions the longest one I, I believe was the Oda campaign and that was like eight missions but it's totally different because um, you don't have to do much of anything except beat the stages and normally do what you normally do in a Warriors game, which is run crazy and kill everything that stands because, you know, most of the enemies are like freaking paper. But this has been enjoyable. I can say this is the most fun I've actually had since um, 4GO. But still, I've pretty much completed this game. So all I need to do now is... Um, upload this um uh rather next month so like i said this month uh starting saturday you'll see samurai warriors 4 go up you'll see more of um you'll probably see shadow warrior go up as well so it's a replay into into transformable let's play per se for shadow warrior um I think that's about it for everything I've been working on thus far. Um, I will eventually make a video off of um, um, Spira Sonata. Because there are a few, um, few things I need to point out with this one. <clears throat> and this is the hot game right here. Monster Hunter World. You've seen me play a bit of it. Show it off. Let me tell you, I had to step back from this one because, man, you basically have to get really good at this game. I'm not, I'm not kidding. I, I've already seen Big and Mag play this religiously, like they play other MMOs religiously. Oh, trust me, I, I know what they, I know sometimes, okay? And sometimes I wish this was... I, I sometimes I wish this was more like linked to the Steam version because that way, I'm like, oh, I can play with the I can play with the rest of the free universe of um, the internet. But apparently, it is not meant to be. So. Oh, don't worry. I plan to get to this as well because this is also a hot game. And mind you, this is the first game that actually got me into Yakuza Zeros. This is the and this is also the one game that actually got me into into getting myself a PS4. Because when I was at Anime Expo, they had this as a demo and I actually played it. I said, you know what? 
if you guys put this on Steam, I did say that, if you guys put this on Steam, you got yourself a fan for life. And they did. That and Kiwami. They put Kiwami on Steam. So, hey, it's what you say that counts. And they listened, and they saw, the, and they saw, and it's good. It's all good. So, aside from everything else, um, we lost quite a bit of people in 2018, at least around this time. Especially in the anime industry, we lost um, quite a bit of people that I pretty much am going to do tribute let's plays for. Uh, for one, the designer of Bomberman passed away. Um, and I will be doing a, a Let's Play tribute of Bomberman for that occasion. As well as one of the main designers of the Gundam series. Kuni, I believe the name is Kunihito Abe. Guy passed on as well. The voice of Mr. Satan of the Dragon Ball, uh, Dragon Ball Z, he passed away as well, among many other voices, but he's notably known for Mr. Satan. He passed away as well, and um, I'll probably do a Dragon Ball Let's Play. A Dragon Ball Z Let's Play, probably I'll finish um, Budokai 2, and, you know, call that like the tribute, just like I did with, um, Ultimate Alliance when when King Kirby died. I mean, not King Kirby. Um, Steve Dicko. Steve Dicko, yeah. Not Jack Kirby. It was Steve Dicko that passed away this year. So that's another one. And there's another one that also passed away. And if you've heard the anime Chibi Maruko-chan, it was based off of the creator's life, just like um, Grave of the Fireflies was based off another creator's life. Um, let me look this up right now while, we, while I'm talking to you guys. Chibi Maruko Chan, if you don't, if you never heard of Chibi Maruko Chan, it is a manga series that turned into an anime, and it was done, and it's. It's under the name of Momo, Momoko Sakura. And basically, that's what it was about. It was the life and times of Sakura Momoko. And that was her pen name. And, um, but um, she, she was the person who made Chibi Maruko chan, among any among every other game that was, you know, it, that, was, that was the most notable work. And, of course, I'm going to do a tribute Let's Play based off Chibi Marco Channel. Or probably a video about the series. Because I've seen a bit of the series when it was on um, Channel 18, which was a uh, Asian station. It used to play anime. Just like, imagine... Imagination TV was it, it used to do the same thing, but they took off it, it took off anime and now it's just a K-pop station. Aside from that, um, yeah, mo the most noble names of anime. Uh, like I said, I'll get into the one about Mrs. Satan and probably like the in like the last world of Budokai to get that knocked out and whatnot. Probably over the weekend or something like that. But aside from that, I'm hoping you have enjoyed, I hope you have been enjoying the Let's Plays as much as I have been creating them. Trust me, I've been doing quite a bit of Let's Plays because I got a few that are still ongoing. I've just been taking a short break from doing them because some of them are long and and they require a, a short time step back. But um, mind you, you'll still be seeing some Shining in the Darkness, Rent a Hero. Tales of Symphonia, um, Earthbound, um, Princess Minerva, 
Chrono Trigger, yes, I'm looking at all, all the tabs I have on my computer. <laughs> and another one that you'll be seeing, also in October, Resident Evil Dead Aim. I'm halfway through the game as we speak. Um, another one I plan to show off in, in next month, which is um, September, Resident Evil Dead Aim is going to come out in October, aside from um, Danganronpa 1. Um, and only Chambara, Zetol, Chaos. Is, um, gosh, I got a lot of games that I got to cover. So, throughout all this craziness that has been going on with the house and everything, I got to keep myself, you know, on the upkeep. Because, you know, even though this is a harrowing situation throughout this whole year, I got to continue on doing what I can do best, which is being an entertainer. And at the same time, consider myself, you know, going further with it. So with that, yeah, that's what's been going on. So I hope you've enjoyed this update of sorts. And um, like I said, expect more next month and then some so with that i've been your friendly neighborhood tenkaichi and i shall see you next time with more videos so take care god bless have a great and wonderful weekend and i shall see you soon with more great content so until then god bless senpai's blessings upon you all and tenkai Musa.